Hey guys, welcome to Tech Timoni. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to add basically an audio card to a Raspberry Pi. Now, you might remember, oh yeah, I remember the 80s. I had my audio card, my ad lib card, and my Windows 98 PC. This is a little different. The Raspberry Pi comes with audio, but the audio is the worst audio I have ever, ever heard. So, we're gonna take this Kano computer kit, and we're gonna zombieify it, and we're gonna create an audio player that connects to this soundbar all the time, has an AirPlay server, and much more. There's basically no setup. So, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add this sound card to the Raspberry Pi Lite. Okay, so you're gonna get your box for the Hi-Fi Berry card, I've already opened mine, and for this computer, you do not need any of the installation media, any of the installation screws that comes in this bag, but for any other computer, you most definitely will. If you get one lined up wrong, pins go into this. If you get one lined up wrong, it is really bad. So you need to make sure you get everything lined up. So we're gonna line it up perfectly. Push down on both sides with equal force. Actually, it's kind of hard. Make sure everything is down. You'll want to see it like this, with a little bit of the pin popping up. We're going to go over to the computer, and we'll see you in just a second. Okay, now that we're in the computer... <laughs> okay, now that we're in the computer, you go to hifiberry.com slash hifiberryos, and you're going to scroll down a little bit more until you get to this menu. So, you want to select for your Raspberry Pi. That Kano computer kit uses a Raspberry Pi 3, so I'm gonna select that. You're gonna wait for it to download. It just takes a second. And you're gonna get a program called Belena Etcher. Make sure that's installed on your computer and open it. So if you need any help installing Belena Etcher, you're gonna go to belena.io slash etcher and you're gonna be able to find install instructions. Back to this, our download is completely done and we can just drag this in to Etcher. Oh my God, I'm so mean. This was going to put it on a USB flash drive. So let's unplug that flash drive. And now it has an SD card. You're gonna press continue and then press flash. This will take a little bit. If it asks you for user account control, if it says allow access to root access, you need that because it's going to adjust the flash drive to be something the Raspberry Pi can read. So it's just gonna take a little second. For me, I have disabled verifying on my flash drives. You can disable and enable it by validate right on success. I disabled it because that takes way too long. Do not turn on unsafe mode. You're gonna unplug your flash drive and I'll see you back at the Raspberry Pi. Now that you're back at the Raspberry Pi, we're gonna take our SD card that we have right over here in our adapter. We're gonna unplug it. I'm sorry, you can't see it. You're gonna unplug it and you are going to put it into, uh oh, you're going to put it into this port over here, this amazing port that you guys cannot see, to your Wi-Fi settings, navigate to your Wi-Fi settings, click on Hi-Fi Berry underscore setup 79B516F. Wow, that's very long. Uh, it's going to take a little bit to connect. You're going to go to Safari and you're going to go to Hi-Fi Berry hifiberry.local. Press next step, choose your country. Mine is United States. You're gonna select your network. I have my great network that I use for testing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I didn't type that in right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You're gonna press next. <laughs> wow, I have a great name. Press next step. And it's going to, oh no, what just happened? It's going to apply the network settings. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go back to your home screen, go into settings, and connect to Dorfum, which is my network, my amazing network. And your phone's gonna say, all done. That is really all you have to do. Now, you're gonna go into your settings, put, click on the change button, change name, and you can change it to, I'm gonna call it soundbar. 
Hey, I didn't spell it right. Sound bar. Why does it want to capitalize the second letter? Come on, iOS. Hey, sound bar. Once you have it set up, by the way, I'm sorry that my camera died, but once you have it set up, you can get on your phone and you can airplay to it. Sorry, I can't. Um, and you can airplay to it by clicking on your soundbar. I'm sorry that I have a really bad capture. I couldn't do it while I was casting. Let's find some music. By the way, hashtag AJR2019. Um, let's find some music that's not gonna be copyright. Eh, gaming, wait, Faded is also good, yep. Okay, it's gonna play some music. You can go here, you can click on soundbar, and turn it up. Overall, I think this is just an amazing project to start. It's super easy, plug and play, new operating system needed, but overall, I would say this is a beginner's course. It is one of the best ways to put a Raspberry Pi to use. And if you were to be using the Raspberry Pi's headphone jack, oh, if you were to be using the Raspberry Pi's headphone jack, your audio would be absolutely terrible. It is really bad. So I definitely would go, would go out and I recommend this 100%, especially for the $23.97 that I got it on Amazon. Thanks guys for watching. If you dislike this video, you can hit that button, but if you liked it, hit like, get subscribed, maybe consider buying the stuff we featured at the link in the video description. See you guys later, bye-bye.